Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to just make a quick little video to maybe help some people uh, know how to use the editing tools at the main menu. Uh, basically when you go to the main menu you can select editing tools and then this screen pulls up and as you see in the top left hand corner you can put the name of your game in this right here or your game seed is what we call it and then this changes the size of the map of what actually will display. Five is pretty big, and but you're pretty much just going to, if you look in the top right hand corner, you'll see this little bit of red. You'll just end up getting radiated zones. So it's not necessary to go to five, but you want to, I use four. And what that does, it kind of reveals everything on the map. You can see all the cities and everything like that. Now at this elevation, I'm using space bar. And as you can see, I'm going up in the air and the map's getting smaller. But to kind of figure out your location, the best thing to do is uh, actually in game hit the letter M to pull up your map and what this will allow you to do is kind of get an idea where you're at put the little mouse cursor this thing right here over your bedroll or something like that and then look at the coordinates so uh, I can't really remember our coordinates in our game I've already found myself on the map but when you look at the coordinates it'll give you a rough estimate of where you go because somewhere in this little center area here of the map is going to be zero zero so you know if you're 1000 south you're going to go this way if you're 2000 south you'll be a little bit further down if you're a thousand east you'll go that way of course and that's just to give you a good rough estimate of where you are so once you have an idea of which way you need to be looking now we start looking at our surroundings so for us, we knew that we had some snow to the north. We know we were in the green zone and we had a big city and we had a desert northeast of us. So we had a good idea and we knew that we saw some water over the hill to the west of us. So as I said, I thought I was like 1000 something south and then I was, you know, 1000 west. So I knew I was having to go southwest basically from the zero zero coordinates and i knew that that's going to put us somewhere over here in this area then i see this big city now to fly around the map it, if you hold your right mouse wheel as you can or mouse button you can see we can kind of change the way we're viewing well then the w key will allow me to start moving forward if i use my mouse wheel and i scroll in i can start flying in faster if I want to slow it down I can slow see how slow I'm going now and then as I use my mouse wheel to go in I go faster now what you want to do if you can read the names of the towns then you know you are facing north that's the easiest way to do if you look over a town like Fort Tealy Pass you know that's north straight that way and south is always at the bottom of the letters. All right, so like I said, we knew we were in a big town. We knew we had some snow that was close by. We had some desert that was close by. I remember seeing some burnt biomes and I remember seeing some water. So there's not very many places. And plus we knew from our coordinates that this was a general area. We also know that we had a, uh, when we got our, we checked our coordinates and stuff before we came to this, we knew we had a trader that was close by and that's the trader right there you see me moving my mouse around so i knew that this was a general idea of where we were at so what you can do is that you can actually get down close to the city and you're going to see something here once you get real close you can kind of read the buildings as you can see this is fire station now if y'all recall right very close to our cabin that we were in was a fire station we also had a couple of high rises if you recall so that tells me that this cabin right here is where we're holed up that makes it pretty simple now that i know where i'm at i'll check the city out you know we'll fly across i'm using my mouse wheel once again to speed and change now you remember when we first came down to this location, I think it was episode two in the morning, 
I said, ooh, a military camp, because we kind of came down this hill right here. Well, there's my military camp. And if you remember, we did some looting and stuff, and there's another military camp we see right here. We're kind of doing some looting, and uh, we find a working stiff tools. All right, so here's a grocery store. Uh, there's a pharmacy. And you remember, our working stiff tools was beside a strip club and a nudie bar, or a nudie movie theater. Well, here's our hardware, uh, store hardware, which is a working stiff tools. And now I can look back to see where we were at, which is basically right there. So now I can kind of get a layout of the town and the idea where we want to go. So when I did that and I was looking around, I was like, oh, this is great. Uh, this is really going to be helpful. And then I was like, oh, look, there's another town over here. Wouldn't it be nice? Let's see what all they have in it. And then, you know, I kind of looked at it. I was like, oh, cool. And then I see another big city over here to the east of us. And I'm like, hmm, well, that's nice. I think I would like to build somewhere in between the two. That's where I can constantly go back and forth between the looting. So then I start looking at these houses and see what they have to offer. Like here, you see it's a ranger station. Okay, well, ranger stations are decent and everything. They do have a gun safe in them and all that. And then I kind of see this house right here. Now, if you've been playing as much as I do, and you kind of know what houses to look for and things just by looking at them, which I'm really glad they implemented this in uh, Alpha 16. But you can kind of, if you look at the house, I'm going slow, I can kind of have an idea based on its shape what it is. But that's not what I'm looking for. What I really like to find is a house that already has a forge in it. Okay. And if you look at like this little ramp here like this and over here, you know those are ranger stations. So we're looking for an abandoned house. Now this, this is what we want. This is ideal here. The reason why, I'll try to get it where it goes slow. The reason why when you see a house like this, where it's got the rock steps up onto the side, and then if you go over here and you see this little porch right here, the odds are this house has a working forge in it. And if you can't remember that, just remember to write down cabin underscore zero five underscore one G. This lets you know that everything with that identifying number is this type of home. So if we move over here, which is very close to where we want to be, we could probably build our base somewhere right here close by, but we'll have a forge just to get some things going and uh, some supplies drop off and we'll be able to actually hit these two towns. Now what I really think I want to do is once I get a little bit of forge stuff going, I want to actually build my base right in this area. You know, we're only going to just use this house as uh, night three. I believe we're on day three when we get started back in our videos. I just want to use this house right here to get me by. I'm going to use the forge. That's where I don't actually have to make a forge. I can save it and when I actually dig my shaft and uh, we can just drop off some stuff here. It's not that far away. And uh, then we'll look for a good spot over here. Now, one of my concerns about being over here is that this is grass. If there's not trees growing over here, that means that we'll have to constantly deal with buzzards. So if that's the case, uh, and you can tell that by the coloration, I'm hoping that there are some trees there, but that's okay. If not, we can actually build our base right here. Somewhere right here on the edge of town. But it's alright. If we have to, we can always chop some trees down and plant some trees over here. But when we do get uh, ready to go back into our video, this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to move. As I said, we realized that we're over here. That was a fire station. So we're just going to kind of come southeast. And this gives you a good general idea of where you want to go. And if worse comes to worse, I can just follow the water line. Being in this location, I have this t little town right here. 
I got this big town right here, and then I got a big town right here. And I could build my base somewhere in this general area, anywhere I choose, so that I'm kind of centered and close to all that. We also have a mine right here where we can eventually get some uh, mushroom spores and things of that nature. Now we do have a wasteland here which we want to stay away from. This color right here is wasteland. This will actually have landmines in it so you, and uh, always has zombie dogs. So we want to avoid this area at all costs. This purple area that you see here where the mountains are, that is burnt biome. Uh, at this little brownish tan area, that of course is going to be your desert. Your very vivid green is going to be your plains or grasslands. And then this is going to be your either your oak forest or pine forest. And same thing here. And then, like I said, the lighter the green is going to be pretty much, you know, your grasslands. And I think this is grasslands and the light brown. There's a different brown. I may be mistaken. Uh, something like that would be like your grasslands. But anyway, I hope this helps you learn how to move around the map. And it's just like flying. You're using the same controls. S will back it up. W move in. Hold the right mouse key down. And it'll allow you to move around, fly through the air. You can speed it up. You can make it go real slow using your mouse wheel. And uh, I hope that helps. Uh, I hope this really helps people learn how to use the map. I think it'll be beneficial to you. Uh, you could call it cheating, but the way I look at it, if they give you the tools to do it, why not use it? It's there. It's in the game, and it's at the main menu. So before we actually cut this video off of the tutorial how to use the editing tools to find your location, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It takes so long to load. That's why I went ahead and started the video once this was loaded. But just to get back out of this, just up here, click X. And now you see you're back into the main menu. But basically, when you click the editing tools here, this is what it's going to come up. As you can tell, we're already looking north. We have our game seed here, and it goes to a 1. Just click here, change it to a 4, and then it automatically should start resizing. Uh, it, it'll start building. It'll put all the buildings in, the pathways, and stuff of that nature. And it takes a little while. Obviously, you can see it says generating hub one of 81. And it takes a couple of minutes. Uh, if your computer's pretty good, it doesn't take that long. But anyway, I hope you learned something, folks. Uh, uh, looking forward to seeing you guys when we get ready to start our next video. And uh, y'all have a wonderful day.